So, what is solar sail? Well, a solar sail, simply put, is a spacecraft propelled by sunlight. Whereas a conventional rocket is propelled by the thrust produced by its internal engine burn. A solar sail is pushed forward simply by light from the sun, this is possible because the light is made up of packets of energy, known as photons, that act like both, particle and wave, but with more energy than atomic particles. When a beam of light is pointed at a bright mirror-like surface, its photons reflect, just like a ball bouncing off a wall. In the process, the photons transmit their momentum to the surface twice, once by the initial impact, and again, by reflecting back from it, ever so slightly. Propelled by a steady stream of photons, the bright reflecting surface is pushed forward. A solar sail is made up of just such a reflective surface, or several surfaces, depending on the sail's design. When the bright sail face the sun directly, they are subjected to a steady barrage of photons, that reflect off the shiny surface, and, impel the spacecraft forward, away from the sun. By changing the angle of the sail relative the sun, it is possible to affect the direction in which the sail is propelled, just as a sailboat changes the angle of its sails to affect its course. It is even possible to direct the spacecraft towards the sun, rather than away from it. By using the photon's pressure on the sail, we can slow down the spacecraft's speed and bring its orbit closer to the sun. In order for sunlight to provide sufficient pressure, to propel a spacecraft forward, a solar sail must capture as much sunlight as possible. This means that the surface of the sail must be big, very big. Our Cosmos 1 spacecraft, which was lost due to a Russian rocket failure in 2005, was a small solar sail intended only for a short mission. Nevertheless, its sails were 10 stories tall, as high as the rocket that launched it. Its 8 triangular blades were 15 meters in length, and, had a total surface area of 600 square meters. This is about one and a half times the size of a basketball court. Even with such a gigantic surface, a solar sail spacecraft will accelerate very slowly, when compared to a conventional rocket. Under optimal conditions, a solar sail on an interplanetary mission, would gain only one millimeter per second in speed every second it is pushed along by solar radiation. The Mars Exploration Rovers, by comparison, accelerated by as much as 59 meters per second every second, during their launch by conventional Delta II rockets. This acceleration is 59,000 times greater than that of a solar sail. But the incomparable advantage of a solar sail is that, it accelerates constantly. A rocket only burns for a few minutes, before releasing its payload, and, letting it cruise at a constant speed for the rest of the way. A solar sail, in contrast, keeps on accelerating, and can ultimately reach speed much greater than the rockets. At an acceleration rate of 1 mm per second square, a solar sail would increase its speed, by approximately 310 km per hour after one day, moving a distance of 7500 km in the process. After 12 days, it would have increased its speed 3700 km per hour. While these speeds and distances are already substantial for interplanetary travel, they are insignificant when compared to the requirements of a journey to the stars. If the acceleration diminishes due to an increasing distance from the Sun, some scientists have proposed, pointing powerful laser beams at the spacecraft to propel it forward. Although, such a strategy is not practicable with current resources, and technology. Solar sailing, is nevertheless the only known technology, that could someday be used for interstellar travel. So, that's all for this video.
Thanks for watching. See you next time.